Well, welcome to uh, episode two of our Freedomville TV. This is episode two of the Freedomville TV. And today we're going to discuss uh, how we um, are designing our basic infrastructure. Uh, talk about the infrastructure. Water. With the water and electricity. Electricity. And um, all the things you don't see because it's on the ground and still a hell of a job. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, yeah, so if you enter from the beginning, yeah. you fix the road, this yeah. is where you yeah. end. Okay. Yeah. Nou, in de achtergrond uh, hoor je de bulldozer aankomen. We hebben vandaag weer een werkdagje gepland. Nou, hier wordt een doorgang gemaakt naar de ruïne toe. En als het goed is naar beneden. Ik ben heel benieuwd hoe die dit gaat doen. Vind je ervan, Thijs? <laughs> Wordt ons, ons bos even geshaped. Ik vind het wel lekker overzichtelijk eigenlijk zo. Niet? Ja. Thijs kijkt een beetje bedenkelijk. Die vindt het moeilijk, want het is een soort kaalslag. Maar ja, dat is de enige manier dat je overzicht krijgt. Dus ja... So this is going to be the entrance. The new entrance. This uh, used to be just a little pathway and we created a new entrance uh, because we decided we don't want to have um, traffic running into each other. So we, we're going to make a, a one way, way road. road. The, the ring, the ring familiar deal. So people are going to enter here. Then they can park their car on top underneath the solar panels. Uh, and then they can walk into the village or they can drive all the way down to the village, drop their bags and then park back up again. Um, and then we're going to show you the exit, which is a little bit further up the road and the road that we've been using so far. So, this is one of the first things we did on the land, actually. Uh, this is the private road to our property. It used to be totally overgrown. And the road on the left side is the Rua Principal. So this is uh, the, the public road that also goes to our neighbors and it is actually connecting through the river but it's not a really good idea to take that road. I would only go four wheel drive on that one. So we have to make the gate also over Yeah, here. but the idea is that this is going to be the exit uh, mainly when we're up and running but now we use it as, a, as an entrance most of the time. And getting your mail. Getting your mail and mail you deal. Do we have mail? Do we have mail? I think my mom checked the mail because we had a very important letter. No, we don't. From the electrician that we have to pay so they can finally connect us. Oh, you think? No, I don't think so. You don't have sewage over here. Sewage, that's yeah, the yeah. that's the thing. So you have to arrange that on your own land, and most people do it by septic tanks. And yeah, you don't see it at all. When you walk around, you don't see it. But it was a hell of a job to put it in. Um, a, lot okay. of, a lot of piperij. <laughs> yeah, well, it was actually one of the first things we did. Was, uh, all the septics. Yeah. <laughs> 
bit about the septics it's a uh, it's a really um, uh, decent system and um, it's filtering in a couple of parts in this tank and when the black water the, the, the toilet water uh, goes in uh, it's gonna rot finally the the water was coming out we put it in the garden again with the drainage pipe and we're gonna put fruit trees and other trees on this point because it's a lot of uh, water so we don't waste this water. So actually all the it. dirty water yeah, goes yeah. to different compartments and it gets cleaned in that way and then yeah. it spreads into the soil again yeah and it's it's very it's fertile ground yeah. so it's a really good these are good locations to plant like and new we, fruit trees and, and we stuff. already put like seven septics in the in the ground for um, different places <laughs> Top of the hill, baby. Highest point of the yeah. of the terrain we have. This is a really uh, important uh, spider web location because uh, a lot of uh, the infrastructure is coming together over here, like the main water, blue water, like Agua Municipal from the road. And this is the main water uh, source. To, to supply the whole village actually. Uh, actually yeah. yeah, and then bit, bit by bit we try to use more and more of the, the, the water on our own land. We have lots the of wells. Yeah. wells and water mines and we're trying to find out how the old irrigation system used to work. So we want, we want to talk to the neighbors and try to clear out all the, all the canals and then see how much water, water we can get running and how much we can supply ourselves and uh, at least start with watering the plants and stuff green water from the wells. Uh, Pozo, they say in Portuguese, um, a well. It, you say it well. <laughs> say <laughs> yeah. it well. Uh, so we're going to pass now all the wells. Number one. Number two. This is... No. Oh, no. Two. Uh, well. So this was number... Three. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Numero cuatro. <laughs> so this one is number five. So this one is number six. Seven. Number Guys and Nadia knew there was a big well, but I discovered it after I saw this tree. I love it. But over there in the corner, you regularly see uh, like a, a third of this thick. Maybe we have some tunnels underneath, because I'm just wondering how those turtles survived just in a pond of water. <laughs> Say, uh, that's number nine. It's 
point. That's number nine. Number ten. Scoop it, Mao. Yeah, number ten over there. So this is number eleven. It's so, very, very clean. So clear. And he told me all the people in the village they used to drink out of their own uh, wells, and he's still not worried about the quality of the water because in this area nobody use, uses pesticides and herbicides. So, well, I believe him by his word, but we're gonna do a checkup just to see, you know, the quality of the water. I think it's interesting, but it, it already looks very good. If we clean out the wells, uh, get the water flowing again, I'm really, really curious to see. So. We have 11 wells. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Did you know we have we had 11 wells? I thought minimum 10, but also with the pounds and... Uh, I didn't know it either. I always said we have about 10 wells, so that was a good guess. Yeah. But this is actually the first time we find out. Yeah. 11 wells. So, this really went well in that well. Great work. Meanwhile, uh, eight months, nine months along the way, we still don't have main electricity. Yeah. Yes, so we're actually building the structure for the solar for solar panels as we speak. So solar has more priority now. This was like uh, the little injection that we needed, the paper in the gate, uh, as we say it in Dutch, to get the solar system um, up and running. And in the end, I think it's a very wise decision to. Uh, you know, invest right from the beginning as much as you can in being self-sufficient uh, with electricity. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the goal in the end for this entire project anyway. So one step closer. Let's go home. Here, this is 180 meter. There is a double motor bike. of power cable to connect the, the middle to the batteries in the solars so we just put the rope in the tube under the ground to pull this wire in it needs 52 so I do it this way so if I'm at 26 meters we cut it there and it's in front of the red uh, tube connected to the cord put some uh, oil in so it slides really nice in then uh, this is almost the last point to uh, be connected on the solar system and we can put on a dryer because the wash is not drying well with this beautiful weather. Uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. Ik ga trekken. Yo. Mooi man. This was episode two. Now we will reflect a little bit on everything we've done and the problems we've encountered and the things that went easier than expected. So, where to start? Electricity. 
it's a good point. Um, our house was finished and the electricity still wasn't there and uh, they asked ridiculous amounts of us to uh, create a transformator to connect the village. So we didn't have time to wait for that and we decided to um, start our self-sufficiency plan a little bit earlier. So um, we already um, installed our solar plant, uh, at least the basic that our house can, um, can run on. Then for us, the water, it was the same thing as the electricity. Uh, because we were a village, we had the right to be connected to the main water. So uh, that was a little bit easier process. Um, but at least we have the municipality water. And uh, now we're going to experiment with the water that we have on the land, how far we come with the irrigation system. And maybe eventually we can fade out the mains. I mean, that's that's the, 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 the main goal for as well, the electricity as the water. So. We're working the other way around, but it's still the objective. There's some more water over here. <laughs> yeah, they told us it doesn't rain a lot in Portugal, but in 60 days of rain, I think we're almost there. <laughs> so yeah, now this is the first rainy season we're really um, experiencing. So now we can see the damage of the water. We can see the damage to the roads that we prepared only a year ago. So it's really important to get all these things uh, fixed as soon as possible. Uh, so you don't do a lot of work and spend a lot of money for, for nothing. Um, more hiccups? More hiccups. Oh yeah, remember when we, one of the first things that we did when we started here was clearing out the roads and clearing out the space around the houses to get an overview. Yeah. And then we asked Pedro with the bulldozer to come. Yeah. And we were completely shocked when we first saw what he did. It was like everything was empty We're like oh my god he, he took away all of our vegetation uh he cleared out some fig trees and we were like oh my god how could you do this it's way too extreme and uh, it's funny how easily you adjust to this kind of works because if you if you see what we still have to do now yeah um and that's the season now we have yeah. to clear up more uh, trees and plants and stuff to weaponize ourselves yes, the fires the fires yeah i was really angry with you remember when i was very pregnant yeah. and we just had the fire and you were coordinating all the cutters that were cleaning the whole yeah. the whole area and i came here and i was like we didn't discuss to clean this whole area look how empty it looks it's so ugly <laughs> i was really pissed off uh but it, yeah, it was a really good call i remember sorry babe <laughs> i remember one time when I said to Pedro, yes, go in one line down from the hill, straight to our house. And then I saw it and I thought like, shit, how am I gonna explain to Nadia? <laughs> <laughs> I was so pissed off. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, hope to see you again. If you uh, like the video, make sure you subscribe and share with your friends and family and uh, see you uh, next time. See you next time.